Hey, here's a quick woodworking tip for you that involves rating the refrigerator. Have you considered using baking soda in your next glue up? I'll show you how. Well, here is a simple quick tip that might get you out of a sticky situation. When you're working in the shop in the middle of the night and you run out of activator for your CA glue. Now I've had this situation, I had to do a little research on it and I found out that uh, baking soda actually is a um, alternative for uh, your activator for your CA glues. Uh, CA is short for uh, cyanocryolite uh, adhesive. Uh, so that's a big word and a mouthful. So most people just call it CA glue. Uh, it's also known as super glue. Uh, there are times we use uh, the super glue for quick uh, uh, fills or quick joints, things that are um, uh, not major joinery. I found myself one night uh, working on a project and was uh, absolutely uh, shocked to find out that I was out of my spray activator and I really needed uh, a little bit of super glue uh, for the final steps of finishing a project and uh, kind of was in a panic because I don't live anywhere close to any stores and it was so late at night I couldn't have gone to a store anyway. Uh, so I did a little research and found out that uh, baking soda is a, uh, uh, an alternative uh, to your activator for CA glue. Um, on the baking soda, uh, the reality is what is happening with an activator is that it is simply extracting the moisture in an accelerated format allowing uh, for the glue to cure uh, fairly instantaneously. Well, baking soda serves that same purpose uh, in uh, your refrigerator or sitting in your cupboard sometimes, but a lot of times we use uh, baking soda just sitting in our refrigerator and uh, you can actually sprinkle on some baking soda onto your CA glue and actually help it uh, actively cure. Uh, let me show you the, the example of what this looks like in a normal situation and um, we'll also give you the example of it uh, with some baking soda. So if I were to be putting a little CA glue uh, as maybe a little filler for a couple of these little pinholes on this piece of wood, uh, just to kind of make sure that those are filled well. It might be a crack, stabilizing a crack, or an actual joinery uh, connection between two pieces of wood. This little spray activator, within a few seconds, will cure that CA glue uh, rapidly, to the point where it's, uh, it, it, it crystallizes into a hard form, right? Uh, now you don't want to get any of that on your fingers or you're going to get yourself uh, stuck. And they do make a deactivator. Uh, for those of us who uh, tend to get a little sloppy, you're going to need that because you're going to stick your fingers together. Uh, but when you run out of your activator, uh, what do you do? Well, like I said, our option here is a little bit of uh, baking soda. CA glue on my work surface. All right, so I'm going to put that right on there and smear that right over that, that, that CA glue. And this is creating an accelerated hardening of that CA glue. And just like that, it's a hard and fast moment. So there you have it. This might get you out of a sticky situation when you run out of uh, uh, accelerator for your CA glue. Uh, give it a try in your own shop and don't forget, if you borrow it from the kitchen, make sure you put it back. Um, don't tell my wife I have it. <laughs> See you next time.